Hi, my name is Cindy Arnold, and I'm a computer science faculty at Mississippi State Community College, and I want to see more women and minorities in my introduction to computer science classes. So my main recruitment challenges are as follows. First, from institutional data, I know that 43 to 50 percent of female computer science majors already have degrees in something else, so recruiting at high school isn't all that we need to do. Uh, further, the largest Pellissippi theater school is GED, so again, we need to do more than just recruit at high schools. I found the NCWIT resources, such as Community College Pathways to IT and Computing Careers, and Talking Points Cards, Why Should Young People Consider Careers in Information Technology, really useful. Also, faculty don't have a lot of time to recruit. In general, besides community meetings and committee meetings and other miscellaneous work, the faculty at my community college are in class or a lab 15 to 18 hours per week teaching three to four different subjects. So when I surveyed students in introduction to computer science classes of fall 2016, 85 out of 213 students responded, but not many said they heard about our computer science programs from anyone at Mississippi. The top two information sources actually were family and friends and the internet. So we do have free recruiters, which isn't many, but I think they could do a better job of recruiting for computer science. To address these issues, my recruitment efforts have included using NCWIT's recruitment workbook to help me understand and target my recruiting efforts. And based on suggestions from the workbook, I trained advisors and recruiters here at Philosophy State so they can better represent computer science with prospective students. I also emailed recruiters whenever I heard about job fairs in our local community. Uh, I was sometimes surprised that they often didn't know about the job fairs going on. And so this later step is to email them and say, hey, are you going? Do you need anything from me? That, you know, that's really quick and easy. I did give advisors and recruiters NCWIT talking points cards with my business card attached so that I'm, I'm talking hundreds of them. I actually had to had 500 business cards and I had to order a thousand more um, so that they could give those cards with my business card attached to prospective students. So I don't have time to go out and recruit, but I do attend Pellissippi career fairs and open houses that are held here on campus by myself. And I had a really cool trifold board made, which I wanted to show you, but it, guess what? It is out with a recruiter as we speak, so yay. Um, but I, anyway, I had this really cool one with my marketing department. They worked with me, and I had a really cool trifold board created. Um, I got computer science students to help uh, staff the table with me, and we used candy, of course, and iPads with some really fun programming games from code.org to draw prospective students to our table. I'm currently working with marketing on several fronts, so I did the trifold board with them. And now I'm creating a brief video to use on Pellissippi's web pages, since so many of our students said they got information on the internet and that affected their decision to major in computer science. I also um, would like to make talking points cards like the ones I got from NCWIT that are specific to my college. So I plan on working with marketing on that. And finally, we have all these bulletin boards on campus, like maybe two or three, and then some in labs, and um, they're either not utilized or they're underutilized or in sort they're in a wrong place because the lab we used to use is not the lab we use now, and they're in a hallway that the computer science person ever looks at, goes through. And so I've already met with marketing to see what I can do to better use those boards and to more consistently use them because not all labs have a board, and I want to have a board in every single lab where I can put up all the faculty like pictures and job postings that I get almost weekly, quite, quite honestly, uh, internship opportunities, things like that. So those boards would be more dynamic maybe than bigger boards that I will have in hallways. So finally, I am continuing to survey students in introductory classes regarding how they chose computer science and Mississippi State in order to see if any of my recruitment efforts are paying off. I think I really need to continue doing all the things I listed for several years to see a change, so wish me luck.